In this video, we'll learn how easy it is to put up exterior walls with thermopan sips. Preparing the sill area is basically the same as with conventional framing. The key, however, is to leave a half inch bearing between the plate and the edge of the sill. So for a 2x4 plate, measure off 4 inches from the edge and secure the plate as per code. Once the sill plate is securely in position around the perimeter of the structure, the best place to begin is in a corner area. Resting the recessed end of the sip on top of the sill plate, the panel is raised into an upright position, flush with the corner. A quick check for level and plumb is helpful. But we won't nail in the sip until the other corner panel is in place as well. To prepare the other panel, generously spray some expandable adhesive foam along the side. Foam is a staple when building with sips, since it completes the air seal between panels and strengthens the bond in our connections. This sip is now raised up by sliding its corner slowly along the sill plate and rocking it into position against the 2x4 board that has already been secured along the edge of the first panel. Because the first panel isn't nailed down at this point, counterforce is needed to create a snug fit. The next step is to ensure that both panels are level and plumb, making the connection as tight as possible by nudging them with a hammer or mallet. Don't hammer right against the sip so as not to damage the groove. Instead, use a persuader block. When fully level, the panels will be nailed into the bottom plate on both sides. This second panel is also nailed into the 2x4 connecting stud on the edge of the first sip, now giving us our basic corner to move forward. The corner provides bracing and rigidity, thereby eliminating the need for bracing along the rest of the wall. To add another panel along our wall, we use a 3 inch wide spline as a connector. Foam the recess of the panel where the spline will go, and when everything is level, the sips are nailed into the spline for added strength using two inch ring nails or drywall screws every eight inches on center. Splines are supplied by Thermopan in heights of eight or nine feet and thicknesses ranging from three and a half inches to eleven and a quarter inches depending on the sips being used. We just saw how the spline was connected while the sip was already up in position. This is easy to do with shorter sips, perhaps 8 to 10 feet tall. But when building with taller panels, it's a good idea to fasten the spline before the sip is raised up, as we see here. This gable section itself was cut on site from a 4 by 14 panel. Thermopan manufactures sips in six different lengths, ranging from 4 by 8 feet to 4 by 16 feet. Standard panel widths varies from 4 and a half inches to 10 and a quarter inches, which correspond to insulative values that range from R20 to R39. Foam adhesive seal is applied on the sill plate. This will ensure that air spaces between the panel and the sill plate are completely filled. Let's watch this panel go up. The bottom corner of the panel acts as a pivot, and the other corner is leaned against its neighboring sip. Simply push the panel, and gravity will allow it to fit into place. Use the persuader block and nudge the panel to create a tight fit. Notice how a spline has only been pre-inserted towards the top of the panel leaving a small section to complete at the bottom. This was intentional so that the bottom corner could act as a pivot. Had the bottom section of spline been connected before putting up the panel, it would have been more difficult to pivot the sip on its corner, potentially crushing the edge of the spline. The next step is to prepare the final panel for this side of the wall. Since it will be on the corner, 
we'll need to position a 2x4 connecting stud half an inch from the edge of the sit. Measure off half an inch and use a chalk line to get a straight line. Put some expandable adhesive foam down and position the board along the chalk line. Finally, nail the board into place. Similarly, a 2x4 end plate board is placed into the same side of the SIP. Only a two foot wide section is needed for the next panel, so we'll cut one on the job site using a Prozzi beam cutter. These convert certain standard circular saws into a labor saving precision tool ideal for cutting sips of all thickness. To create the inch and a half recess in the cut end of the sip, use a hot knife tool. Both hot knives and Prozzi beam cutters can be obtained directly from Thermapan. Perhaps the trickiest panel to install is the final one. This isn't the case with this future workshop because of the large opening at the front where a garage door will go. So, to show how a final panel goes in, we'll take a look at this addition being built. The final sip can't be raised up on its corner so instead, it's lowered down into position, as we see here. It takes a little more nudging and hammering with a persuader block to get it into place. But in the end, it gives us a very snug fit with excellent strength and total air tightness. Once all the sips are up, the next step is to add two top plates along the wall. This step is easy. Just spray some foam into the top recess and hammer the board into position. What we don't show here is the final step, which is to caulk the panel seams along the interior surface of the wall. This measure is to ensure a vapor barrier is in place. From start to finish, building with thermopan sips is easy and saves a lot of time compared to conventional framing or insulated concrete forms. Most importantly, it gives you a strong, more energy efficient wall that protects against mold and moisture damage. Let's recap basic wall construction using standard 4x8 sips. Spray foam into the side recess of the panel. Insert the spline and nail it to the panel every 8 inches on center. Foam the recess of the upright sip that will receive the next panel, as well as the sill plate. Straddle the panel over the bottom plate and pivot it up on its corner into position. If necessary, nudge the panel with a persuader block until level and plumb. Nail the sip into place along the side and bottom on both the interior and exterior surfaces. Thermopan is the better way to build.